everybody. I'd like to say aloha to uh, all of y'all, Oko, and I'd like to thank myself for having me here. Um, today I'd like to, let's talk story right now from Kinohi. I'd like to read uh, from the Word of God. Kinohi Hanake Akua Ikalani Ame Kahonua. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So the beginning um, I'm, uh, I'd like to talk about is the starting point. So if we're doing a song in the key of G, G, G is the starting point. Okay, so with that said, let's go to uh, the altered tones in the chord construction, because I gave you, I did a vignette on the tutorial in the chord construction. Yeah? Keep in mind now, the, the dominant seven chord always has a flat seven in it. And um, the minor chord always will always have a minor third and flat seven in it. Whereas the major, uh, the major chords will be one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Okay. Um, so the altered chords in chord construction is the flat third, the flat seven, the flat five, the sharp five, the flat nine, the flat the sharp nine, the flat thirteen, which is the sixth degree. Okay. And the tritone. So what I did is, uh, I did this right here. I'm just going to take a shot of this. I did the G7 blues, which is quite common. Everybody knows this, right? So they would ba basically play a G minor pentatonic against the whole thing, or just move the G, um, move the design around. But today I'm, I'm approaching it from this vantage point. Uh, the dominant seventh chord, the G7, has the flat five in it, which is the, the dominant seven. Here's a flat five. Here's a G7. Here's an F and a B part of the chord. This is. There's a G7, C7 is here, and this G7, the D7 is one above, comes from the D7, and the G7, that's where we can go, G7, G7, and then to the C7, go back, G7 blues. dominant seven chords. So remember I told you the, the tritone wants to, it's begging for resolution, it wants to resolve to the one. So in other words, the G7 is the five of C. The C7 is the five of F, the D7 is the five of G. Now with that said, uh, I'd like to uh, uh, enter the threshold of amazing complexity. The tritone in the dominant seven chord is the five seven chord, also called the mixolydian mode. So over here, uh, we have the G7, which is spelled G, B, D, F, N, B, D, uh, G, B, G, D, F, F is the flat seven, G is the one, B is the third, uh, five is the uh, perfect fifth, and um, F is the flat seven. The G9 is G, B, D, F, A, G is the one, B is the three, D is the five, uh, F natural is the flat, uh, flat seventh, and A is the ninth. The B minor seven flat five is spelled B D F A. So as you can see, the common tones for for G nine, G B D F A. The minor seven flat five is B D F A. In, uh, for the minor seven chord, the one is of one B. The flat third is of D. The flat five is the F, and A is the flat seven. So in that sense, G nine equals B minor seven flat five. So the the this is the point, the B minor 7 flat 5, which is the same as the G9. Uh, could that work against this? Let me ask you this. Can that work against this G7? Of course it can. And then the, what is the, what the C7 and the D7 when you're doing blues? Well, first of all, here's the, the, the B Locrian, the, which is the 7 degree. again here. This is a movable design. Your root is right here. This is the, the design. It's the Locrian uh, mode or the B minus 7 flat 5. 
it's also the the five seven the five seven of uh, G seven uh, because in the key of G the G seven is is the five of C uh, so in the key of C what's the seventh degree it's a B minor seven flat five it's a movable root so B minor seven flat five against the G seven B minor seven. C7. So I go to the C7, right? I buy number five for two bars. C7 is the five of F. So in the key of F, what's the seven degree of F? It's the E minor seven flat five. So here's the E. Now I'm doing this so you can see I'm using the same pattern. One, two, four, one, two, four, symmetry. One, three, four, one, three, four. This asymmetry, symmetry. Then two, four, one, two, four. Same pattern. I'm just moving this up to the E. So this E, E frigid, uh, E locrian, you play against your C7 chord. By virtue of that, the D7 chord, which is the final chord in the G7 blues, D7 is the 5 of what? D7 is the 5 of G. So what's the, what's the, what's the 7 degree of G? F sharp minus 7 flat 5. Uh, here's, so here's a D7. F sharp minus 7 flat 5. power of selection. Today's workshop uh, is for the, the advanced intermediate and the advanced player. So the lesson is the, I guess, G7 blues right here. And uh, let me put this over here by my Bible. So it's uh, G7, C7, fast change, G7, G7, C7, C7, G7, 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 uh, C7, G7, and D7 at the end, G7 blues. So you superimpose, you superimpose the B Locrian, which is the B minus 7 flat 5 mode, against the G7 chord. Because the B minus, uh, the G9 equals uh, B minus 7 flat 5. Okay, and we're in the key of C. So uh, based on the starting point. Okay, and then we we'll go here, once again, just to re uh, reiterate. This is the, the design of the, the low crit. Um, the low crit or the minus seven flat five. Cause this is the design of the trail. It's one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. So there's symmetry here, asymmetry, symmetry. And then we have asymmetry and then we go back to that uh, one, two, four pattern. It's movable, so it moves up, okay? So the understanding is superimposed the E Locrian against the C7 chord, which is a five chord in the key of F, because in the key of F, the the C9 is equal to the 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 E minus seven flat five. E minus seven flat five is spelled E G B flat D. E is the one, G is the flat third. Uh, B flat B flat is a flat five, and D natural is a flat seven. Yeah. Okay. So C7 is C E G B flat. C is the one. E is the uh, major third. G is a perfect fifth and B flat is a flat seven. So the ninth is the D, huh? so C9 is C, E, G, B flat, D. So in that regard, if you notice the common tones, E minus seven flat five is in fact C7. And then this, we're in the key of F, even though you're playing the C7 chord. Uh, so why, why am I showing you this? Well, because that's amazing complexity. Um, let's go here. The G7 chord, okay, what, what can we play against that? B minus 7 flat 5 with the B low crit. 
C7, E minor 7 flat 5 or the E locrian. The, the G7 is B minor 7 flat 5 or the B locrian. The G7 is B minor 7 flat 5 or the B locrian. For the bar number 5, which is the C7, e, uh, you play the, the E minor 7 flat 5, which, which is the E locrian. C7, you play the E minor 7 flat 5, which is the E locrian. For the G7, you play the B minor 7 flat 5, which is the B locrian. For the E7, uh, which is jazz, you play the uh, G sharp minor 7 flat 5 with the G sharp locrian because E7 is in the key of A. It's a 5 of A. And then back to A7. For the A7, uh, A7 is in the key of what? D, right? A7 is a 5 of D, so you play the C sharp minor 7 flat 5 with the C sharp locrian. D7, you play the F sharp minor 7 flat 5 with F sharp locrian. D7 is a 5 of G. Yeah? Okay, and the G7, you play, G7 is the 5 of C, play the B minor 7 flat 5 or the B locrian. The D7 is the F sharp minor 7 flat 5 or the F locrian. Um, this indeed is uh, amazing complexity. Uh, the word is superimposed. You superimpose the B locrian mode against the G7 chord um, in, in G7 blues. Okay, so G, G9 B, equals B minor 7 flat 5, you are in the key of C. Basically, this is the one that uh, we did. Uh, this is G blues. Now, here's the first. Uh, right here, we have the first four bar phase, the second four bar uh, phase, and the third four bar phases. Phase. All all songs are written in four bar phases. This is one, five, and nine. So, by virtue of, of knowing where one is, you you're gonna feel four three times, and that's how it is with the muscle memory. Um, the jazz players they can just feel that, so they know where we are. Okay, let's move on to this and we're done. Uh, Edge, can you move that off? Uh, yeah, let's go move on. There you go. Okay, here's something else. Key of C. In the key of C, what's the third degree? It's E Phrygian. Okay, um, this is a follow-up on the lesson that I did for quantum instruction. So remember what I read for you from the Bible? It, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Well, in the key of C, the third degree is E. So the third degree is uh, E minor or the E frigid. Okay, but we have to consider E is the root. So in the key of E itself, it has, it has four sharps. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. But in the key of C, there are no sharps. So from the when we harmonize the, 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 the third degree of C, which is the E, e minor, um, E minor um, ninth, E minor seven, flat 9, flat 13. So here we go. E, G flat, no, E, G, B. The E to G is a, is a minor third. B is perfect fifth. D is a flat 7. F natural is a flat 9 because in the key of E, the second degree is, is uh, F sharp. But there are no sharps in F, in, in C. So it's a flat 9. A is fine. In the key of E, we have a perfect a fourth is A. And then the the, uh, the 13, which is the C, uh, the 6 is the C sharp. As you can see, it's a key of C, there is no C sharp. So we have a flat 13. There, um, uh, I just wanted to share that with you because I did do it a vignette with a tutorial on uh, chord construction. The flat 13 and flat 7 is to be understood to be altered when you're playing, uh, when you're constructing minor chords, okay? Um, now, when you're constructing a dominant seven chord, and that's that's a very interesting subject. When you uh, the dominant seven chord is understood to have always have a flat seven, and then you start building it, and then you're going to discover flat nines and flat thirteens, and uh, you're going to discover beat, you're going to discover discover uh, altered tones. Okay. So, with that said, once again, kino, kino he. Hana kea kua, ikalani ame ka nua. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. I say happy birthday to all of the birthday people. Um, prayers go out to uh, Jason and his mother and uh, all the people that need prayer out there, spoken and unspoken requests. God bless you guys and your family. Okay, we all need help. God bless you. Please have a wonderful time. Enjoy the benefits of music. With that said, ho'olohi, ho'oko, ho'olomua.